The following is presented by the Pinellas County Extension. Welcome to your Florida Vegetable Garden. I'm Jane Morse and I'm going to talk about fertilizers for the garden. All plants must have food for growth. Once they use up the food stored in the seed, they must get sufficient amounts from the area in which they are growing. Fertilizers provide essential nutrients for plants. There are 17 essential nutrients needed by plants. These are divided into macronutrients, which are consumed in large amounts, and micronutrients, which are consumed in very small amounts. Using a combination of organic and inorganic fertilizers is a good way to supply all the essential nutrients needed by plants. The macronutrients most likely to be needed on most soils are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These nutrients are always in this order on the fertilizer bag. Micronutrients are usually present in the soil in sufficient amounts, but may need to be applied, especially on alkaline soils, which we tend to have in Pinellas County, or when the irrigation water is alkaline. In such cases, it may be necessary to use fertilizer containing minor elements, particularly manganese and boron. Our sandy soils are usually low in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, so fertilizers for these soils should have a high percentage of N, P, and K on the fertilizer bag. Organic fertilizers include naturally occurring organic material, such as manure, worm castings, compost, and bone meal. With fresh animal manure, wait 120 days from the application time to the harvest time of high-risk crops such as root and leaf crops and strawberries, or anything that isn't cooked. Organic fertilizers are known to improve soil life and the long-term productivity of soil. They usually have much lower concentrations of plant nutrients than inorganic fertilizers. Inorganic or commercial fertilizers are usually readily dissolved. These fertilizers are usually much more concentrated, with up to 64% of their weight being a certain plant nutrient. Apply organic fertilizers at least one month before planting. One to two weeks before planting, add half of the first main application of inorganic fertilizer broadcast over the entire garden. The other half should be banded at the time of planting. Make two furrows about six inches apart on either side of the seed row. The furrows should be two to three inches deep. Spread fertilizer down the furrows, then fill them in with soil. Leafy crops such as lettuce, spinach, and kale often require more nitrogen than other crops, while tuber and root crops like potatoes and beets need more potassium than other vegetables. These additional nutrients can be used as side dressings during the growing season. For more detailed information, contact your local University of Florida IFAS Extension. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Jane Morse, and this is your Florida Vegetable Garden. For more information on this and many more topics, visit www.pinellascountyextension.org.